still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. Good morning. I am Marinella Glasgow and today I will share my testimony with you. As every young person, we plan our lives in a very detailed way. What you will do after secondary school, what you will do after, and the time in which we hope to get this done. But God had other plans for me. And so, for two years, I had to wait on God to fulfill His purpose in me. When I left Cape, I decided that I would have entered into my dream occupation, what I desired to do. However, God had other plans for me. And so for two years, I had to wait and wait and wait. And for me, waiting seemed such a burden because I simply couldn't understand why. In my mind, I was so ready. I was ready to jump into my destiny, but God had other plans for me. I was very dismayed, but I learned during that period that the grace of God will never take you where He cannot sustain you. Also, I learned that delay is not denial. And so, after two years, I was able to achieve what I hoped for in the beginning. You see, we take things for granted, but every situation that God places it places us in is for our good. I reflect on Romans chapter 5 from verse 3 to 5 that says through tribulations we become patient and we gain experience and through experience we gain hope. Many times we take our waiting process for granted and we want God to take us out faster than we can actually imagine. But in waiting, he is renewing our character. He's making us ready for the next level. When I reflect on those two years, I can't imagine what would have happened if I actually got my dream at the time I wanted. God indeed knew what he was doing. I needed th those two years to work on myself, to become a better person, to know God more, to depend solely on him. And so this morning, I encourage you to wait patiently on the Lord be still and while we are being still we are waiting in that stationary place let us also wait w-e-i-g-h-t on the Lord place our weight on him many times we say that I will wait yes but then we still bear all our burdens when Jesus is our burden bearer so today I implore you to wait on him and to place your weight on Jesus. Be still and know that he is God. He will be exalted through you at the right time. Morning Glory, here's my story.